Hey folks, 762 by 51 NATO here. So I was on a website, new subscriber of mine, uh, California Prepper, who, by the way, has an outstanding YouTube channel. You guys should check it out. But I was on there, and he inspired me to make a video. It's the first prepping video I've done in a while, probably over a year. But he had a video up about asking, should you stockpile silver, silver or gold? And it just kind of, kind of started made, made, made me think. I've seen a lot of videos on stockpiling things, ammo, whatever. Now, I, personally, I, I think. Now, if you're talking total societal economic collapse, temporary collapse, I think gold and silver are about as worthless as tits on a board. I think if you're looking for materials, I think things like bullets, fishing line, traps, lead, I think those things would be more valuable. Things for making bullets, lead, gunpowder, etc., etc. Those things would be valuable. Even brass. But I think the most valuable thing things are things I haven't seen many people talk about, but I think if you're going to stockpile something, I think you should stockpile, invest in skills. It's an idiot driver. It's really kind of slippery out right now, but oh well, a lot of idiot drivers. So anyway, uh, stockpile skills. Those are the most important things. And skills can't be taken away from you. You can't leave them behind if you got a full load. You always have skills, and you can you barter with skills. Think about it. When was the last time you did something for a buddy for a case of beer? Well, in a SHTF situation, you wouldn't be trading for beer. It would be bullets, food, whatever, warmth, shelter. So some of the skills that are important, all right, a person that's, uh, that I know, a friend of mine, is a doctor. Now, I think that's a skill. You can't run out and become a doctor just so you can have that skill for prepping. But I, I think doctors are going to be probably the most important item or person or people in that SHTF situation. Because there's going to be, you know, guys with guns like me, guys can shoot people, protect, defend. Yeah, they're going to be a dime a dozen. There's always people out there to break stuff. The people that fix stuff will be important. Doctors are going to be hugely important. So, um, and I, you know, and I, I say, you know, in a, a bad situation like that, groups are going to be important. Community is going to be important. You got a group of people together. You know, you're not going to do it on your own. You're not going to protect your family on your own. You need to have a group of people. And you got a doctor in your group, or even a medic. You're going to be ahead of everybody else. The biggest threat in any situation isn't always going to be other people. It's going to be the environment. Wow. I'm doing 70 right now, and I guess it's a guy there's in a hurry. So, anyway, getting back to skills. You can build stuff if you can make shelters, if you can hunt deer, gut deer, squirrels, animals, you can trap them, if you can hunt them. Those things are going to be important. Food collection will always be important. Fishing, um, gardening. If you're, I mean, anybody could garden, but if you're a good gardener and you know gardening, it's going to be extremely valuable. You can build stuff. You have some woodworking skills. That's valuable. If you can fix leather stuff, make leather stuff. You can fix people's shoes. You can make shoes out of out of you know deer hide or whatever gloves. You can make gloves. That's important. You can fix broken generators. That's important. Skills will be very important. So that's just something, you know, keep something, keep that in mind. If you're out there, you're a prepper or, you know, or, you know, you're stockpiling stuff, 
rainy day preparation, that type thing, you know, keep that in mind. Look at skills. Take an electrician's class, course, week-long course, even a day course, I mean something. Keep those skills up. Those are important things. So reloading bullets, that's another important thing. Making knives. Keep a knife sharp. Those are all things that will be important. So I'd like to hear your comments. What are your thoughts on what I just said? What are, what's your opinion on the most important things to stockpile? Or if you should even stockpile? I'd like to hear them. Uh, make comments below. God bless. Semper Fi.